All right, what's up, guys? So, I want to talk about uh, this little LeBron situation that happened uh, a couple days ago, right? So, a couple of days ago, LeBron was in Atlanta playing the Hawks, right? And with every um, sporting event, you know, that's publicly held, if you will, there's always going to be you know, overly engaged fans, hyper people, disruptors, hecklers, you know, the whole nine, right? So apparently what happened the other day was this woman and her husband who were sitting courtside, they, I don't know, I guess they took it upon themselves to, you know, overdo it as, you know, I'm alluding to here. And they decided that it was a good idea to start verbally abusing LeBron and the Lakers because this was a game that was held in Atlanta. And uh, obviously, you know, two plus two, it was uh, an away game for the Lakers. And yeah, it became a whole big thing right then and there. And they were asked to leave. And so, obviously, in the media age that we live in, it didn't stop there. This this girl who's the main uh, villain, if you will, in this whole scenario, she took to Twitter and IG and whatever. And, you know, she started cursing him out and calling him bad names and, you know, anything that, you know, any adult can think of that you can call another person that's not overtly racist or anything like that right so apparently with her side of the story was her and her husband were just sitting courtside watching the game and i guess they were just cheering like everyone else and uh, lebron just singled them out amongst thousands of fans because on a side note, uh, the Atlanta Hawks are one of the only organizations that's currently allowing actual spectators in their arenas. If you watch any of the NBA games live now, like you'll see that they're just in empty arenas with no one else there but you know media people um, and uh, team personnel and you know coaches and the players, right? Um, but Atlanta's kind of being a little bit more generous, a little bit more leeway there. Um, so that's how these people were there. If, you know, that was in question for whatever reason. So, um, LeBron being the, you know, very laid back guy that he was, he got on Twitter and made a tweet that said, um, courtside Karen was mad, mad. Uh, you can quote me on that, right? And, um, yeah, I think at this point, it got at least over 500 likes. I mean, 500,000 likes, I'm sorry. And, um, yeah, so this this girl's kind of become like a big thing or whatever, right? And, you know, she when she got on, on the internet, right, and said whatever it is that she had to say, she kind of... You know, it, like like most women do, they try to act all big and bad and whatever. And we knew that you know, whatever the fuck she was talking about, that wasn't about to happen. She was like, oh, well, you know, I'm going to stand up for my man and blah, 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 blah. Someone disrespects him, blah, 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 blah. Now, that's all BS, right? Like you, you in your five, three self, you're not going to do anything to six, nine gladiator physique LeBron. It, it's just not going to happen. Even if, even if your guy was the guy that took the lead in this altercation, he wasn't, he wasn't on shit either. Right. So we let's act like, you know, that we know that, right. Cause she wasn't acting like that. You know, she was, she wanted to be a tough guy and it, it really didn't get her anywhere. So, how do I feel about this? Well, shit like this happens, and I'm inclined to believe that she's lying about most of it. Because, you know, LeBron James being top three, if not number one or two, um, most influential, most, you know, public athletes in the entire world, most certainly ever, right? 
there's no way that he's never dealt with hecklers and fans and overbearing, you know, spectators, right? So I, I just find it hard to believe how out of all of the people that were there, he just happened to single out, you know, some old head and his, sh- you know, little side jaunt or well, well, apparently they're married, but you know, his, his lady friend, right on the sideline and just decided, well, today's going to be the day that, you know, I just bark back and, you know, overdo it myself. Like, I just find that hard to believe. Like if anything, he's focused on the game. He's not worried about you, but, um, the internet, you know, did its thing as well. And they did some digging and apparently this, the, the guy that she's married to is some, he's some wealthy guy too, but a, as a matter of inheritance, not, I don't think he's self-made, right? And um, basically, she's 25 years of age. Now, I'm going to show a picture on screen and I feel very confident in saying that's a rough 25, but that's neither here nor there. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, as they say. That's complete bullshit, though. Um, and this dude is, he's 60 plus. And there's, there hasn't been any exact number and age as far as I know at the moment. But, you know, a lot of people online were calling her, you know, uh, um, a gold digger and this, this and that. And she was, she responded back and she made a couple of posts instead that, you know, she loves him and yada, yada, yada. No, you don't. No, you don't. Because there's no way, right, as a 20, quote unquote, 25, because she doesn't look 25 at all. But there's no way that your 25 year old self gets up in the morning and you look next to you and you see this old fossil of a guy, right? Who's obviously juice. And if you see it, if you see it, if you see what he looks like, right? There's no way you look at that in the morning and you're just like, oh my God, I've met the guy of my dreams, right? I, I don't care how much money's in his pocket. I mean, that plays a factor always, but there's no way you see this juiced up geriatric patient and you're just like, oh man, I'm just. Uh, words can't describe how I feel about you, right? So that was bullshit. But, um, you know, as far as I'm concerned, yet again, another situation that doesn't surprise me. And for the most part, um, well, entirely, LeBron handled it with class, as he always does. You know what I mean? And it's when it comes to somebody like LeBron, it's really easy to get on his side, given like what he does for the community and how how um, upstanding he is as a regular citizen, right? And, and and he doesn't have any prior history of lashing out at people. So it's like, I'm going to have to pass on getting on your side, lady. You know what I mean? But um, what's interesting is she said that he had said something to her first, right? So the, the NBA reviewed... Um, all of the footage that they had in the arena. And apparently the only thing that he said was he apparently called the guy. He looked over at the guy, her husband, right? And said that he was old as hell looking, right? That was all he said. And the tapes apparently allude that he wasn't the one that started it. Um, it turns out, which I don't think anyone's surprised by that. If anything, that's what most people are believing. Um, so yeah, um, that's that situation. Let me know how you guys feel about it. All right, peace. without you both.